Good day everyone, I, Cherry Medi Perio, together with my partner, Shailene De Vera, will be discussing to you our assigned topics, which is the gender schema theory. But before that, I hope you guys will pay attention during our discussion about the gender schema theory. So let's start. What is the gender schema theory? Gender schema theory was introduced by psychologist Sandra Beam in 1981 and asserted that children learn about male and female rules from the culture in which they live. So according to the theory, children adjust their behavior to align with the gender norms of their culture from the earliest stages of social development. And um, next is, for example, if a person considers himself a male and it is most comfortable referring to his personal gender in masculine terms, then his gender identity is male. However, his gender rule is male only if he demonstrates typically male characteristic in behavior, dress, and or mannerism. So, let's proceed to cultural influences on gender schema. So, gender schemas have an impact not only on how we people process information, but on the attitudes and beliefs that direct gender appropriate behavior. So, for example, a child who lives in a very traditional or a culture might believe or believe that a woman rules is in uh, caring and raising of children, while a man's rule is in work and industry. Through this observation, children form schema related to what men and women can and cannot do. So, what is gender identity? Gender identity is the personal sense of one's own gender. Gender identity can correlate with a person's assigned sex or can differ from. So, in most individuals, the various biological demonstrate or determinants of sex are congruent and consistent with the individual's gender identity. So we have here the four gender genders, which is masculine, feminine, neuter, and the common. So what is a masculine? Masculine is a having qualities of appearance traditionally associated with a man. And the next is feminine. It is also having qualities on how uh, on how appearance traditionally associated with women. So woman naman siya feminine. And the next is neuter. What is neuter? Um, denoting a gender of a noun in some languages, typically constructing with masculine and feminine. So last is um common, a noun that is same. Um, whether it is uh, referring in some languages such as um, Latin, a noun that may be masculine or feminine but not a neuter. So, hindi lang siya, uh, hindi siya neuter. So, um, that's all guys. So, my partner will be the next discussion. Thank you and have a nice day.